Hey, how goes it? Ooh, what was that? There's a ladder. Hey, how goes it? Let's go between the ladder. There we are. Um, time for Blight Town. This is gonna be fun. Let's just top off. So I'm gonna show a couple of tricks that I've learned to get through Blight Town with minimal deaths. Uh, the worst part of Blight Town are the toxic poison dart guys. So we're gonna try our best to kill them because they don't respawn. Uh, these guys are dumb. They have bad pathing. He'll die eventually. There we go. 500 souls for him falling. Now the problem with that is we don't get the club that he drops randomly. It's a pretty rare drop. And we don't get dung pies. And dung pies are handy for PvP. Um, I like toxic in people. Uh, my friend Anayo built a toxic build just to really mess with people. Yeah, it's not coming. And that was pretty fun to watch him play. Uh, basically tons of dung pies, Gravelord sword, stuff like that. It was pretty fun. Yep, bad passing. Now one of these guys I can take no problem. I'm not worried about that in the slightest. Um, it's just they're really, really, really annoying. And if I pull too many things, it gets well, even more annoying. Come on, bro. I got all day. Also, uh, you might notice some frame rate drop. I'm still having some issues. Oh, I pulled somebody else. Um, I'm actually uploading the previous episode while recording this because time is of the essence. Oh, wow. Frame rates. Not having a good time here. Come on, bro. I got stuff to do. I was gonna fight him legit, but with the frame rate doing what it's doing right now, I'd probably get murdered for no good reason. Fall? Fall, maybe? Alright, let's just kinda. I mean, we can do this if you really want to. I need you to get a little bit closer. Nope, that's backing up. I'm just gonna backstab him a couple times. We'll do the job. And... Yeah. Like I said, they're not that big a deal. It's just this is not the best place to fight them. What do we got? Done by. Literally a pile of shit in your hand. You throw it at people and it causes toxic. So, that's kind of nice. Um, there's a blow dart guy up here to the right. We're going to try not to get shot by him because blow darts cause toxic. Toxic is... See those darts flying? Oh, hang on. You're not going to be able to see him for a while. There's one. And he's still coming close to hitting me. Ugh, oh, ledge. Not good. Those little darts that keep whizzing by. We really don't want to be hit by those. If we can help it. Toxic will basically do a lot of damage to us over a long period of time, or a very short period of time. Uh, considering how much damage they do. Oh no, frame rate, why? Oh shit, okay, so that almost toxics me in one hit. Let's not get hit by that again. See that guy over there? Shooting those darts at us? Those will pretty much kill us if he manages to uh, to get us. Interesting. I moved my camera and it changed his trajectory of shooting. Alright, we're going to go over here. There's some more guys we can pull. Oh, shit. He shot me through that hole. What a dick. I really don't want to be toxic. If we do get toxic, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, we'll just die and have to come do this whole thing over again. Which isn't that big of a deal. Did he fall? Or run? Because normally he's standing right here.
Is that him? That looks like him. Really? Let's see if I can get this. Did that kill him? Wow, that killed him in one hit. You gotta watch out for this grab. Oh, he's gonna kill me. At least the toxic guy didn't get me. I could have probably rolled through that grab, but oh well. Hey, we just picked that up last episode. Alright, at least it's not very hard to get back down there. Hello, friend. You're dead. Going this way. And through here. One. So. The goal with Blight Town is. or with. yeah, with Blight Town. is to get to the bottom of Blight Town into the swamp. And, uh. we technically can skip all this bullshit. Go through the back door, because we have the master key. And, you know, not worry about a lot of this. But, I don't want to deal with... I, I want to show off the legit way to do this. Okay, this guy's dead. There he goes. These guys hit really hard, but I really want one of their clubs. So, I'm going to try and do this somewhat legit. Not a good time for frame rate issues. There we go. Somehow we didn't pull that second one yet, which is cool. Oh, not good. Oh, oh we died from the poison. <sighs> well, this will be fun. I don't want to cheese these guys because it'll it'll be boring. But I don't want to die a bunch either. I thought I could have finished him off with that one hit. I should have swapped back to my shield instead. Okay, I don't care about you. Uh, we only lost like 2,000 souls. It's not really that big of a deal. Part of the issue of doing this this way is... Um, well, I have to do this fast because of YouTube. Trying to keep the episode around 20 minutes. And dying repeatedly would not be the best for YouTube. We're just going to back up here. I want your club. Are you just going to walk off? I thought he was just going to walk off for a second. Drop your club. There's a blood stain here. Let's see how this guy died. No, he just got smacked. Okay, good. I didn't think I was going to knock him off, but I wasn't sure. Eh, I don't want to hit him because I want to try and get his club. Stop it. Screw it. Oh, second swing. God damn it. Not good. Ooh, I blocked it. Let's just tap. Drop your club. I want it. Damn. I mean, I can always farm the club off camera. Which I might end up doing, because I really do like their club. It's one of my favorite heavier weapons. So you notice one thing that I do to block things, especially really heavy things like that, is I'll, um, 
I'll pop the shield up between attacks. Like, oh, like, like that. More of a precisely timed thing, because it gets my stamina a little bit of time to come back. No, nope, right there. Invulnerable frames during that is really nice. And a second one just lined itself up because he tried to push me. And it ended up phasing through me. Everyone dead? Good. Now, you notice that I'm not being shot at by Blow Dart Dude? Blow Dart Dude is dead permanently, which is nice. Need lowering it out? Yeah, they're coming. Can't see, bro. Your message is in the way. There we go. I have no idea how I'm doing these parries with the frame rate as fucked up as it is. But it's good. Alright. Let's see if I can pull one or two more. Oh. That's the grab. Ah, oh, sneaky. Go ahead, do it again. Did not mean to kick, but that's cool. Um... We're gonna go that way, but if you go this way, we might end up pulling from. Yep, loud noises. Or he saw us from that other angle. Uh, if you go this way down where we're about to go. Wow, he didn't die. Now you're dead. Um, there is a thing down there which I'm not gonna bother trying to get. Uh, it's a katana. Should I try and get it? I'm not going to lose much if I die. You know what? I'll do it off camera between uh, renderings. Eh, or should I show the jump? It's it's not really that hard, and I don't know any special tricks to land the jump every time. I actually really suck at the jump. But basically, you just leap off of that little bit of wood right here. Ooh, frame rate. Leap off of this, that direction, as far out as you can get. As long as you time the jump okay, you should land on that platform. And that's the only way I know of to get that katana. And I think it's the Aito. Uh, which, ironically, is a katana that has a dull blade for sparring. But it's just as strong as any other katana. Um, there's a trap right there. See these planks that look like nothing should be able to hold them up? That's because nothing's holding them up. If you step on that, it collapses and you fall down. Uh, I don't remember exactly where to go. I know we need to get to that bonfire. So my general navigation scale skills are telling me I can get down to that platform and just walk over to it. So we're going to go this way. There's a guy in a pot there. I don't think he pops out of the pot unless we break the pot. This guy looks like we can just backstab him off, but there's stuff in the way. So we're going to do it like this. Okay, he fell, but he didn't die. Damn. Let's have a look at this guy. He looks messed up. He likes his pot, though, so we're just gonna leave him there. Really friendly guy. Oh, hey. He came back. You're dead. Oh, uh, we can go down this. And... That bonfire is right there. I don't think we're gonna be able to light it. Oh, we did. Still not able to rest at, rest at it, because there's this guy. Let's get the shield out, and... You know, fuck it. There. Problem solved. Resting at the bonfire. Uh, about 15 minutes into this episode, a little less, and we're already halfway through, through Blight Town. Maybe not quite halfway. Close to halfway. You know what, screw it, let's go for that katana. I don't think I'm going to use katanas on this character, but I don't mind going for it. Since we have the halfway point bonfire. No, that didn't work out. Go. Okay, we're killing things left and right. This is good. Come on. If you guys are coming, then just come already. Oh, lock. Oh, this is not so good. Swap out like this. 
Okay, he's dead. There's another one up there. He's just being stupid. Oh, now he's decided he wants to come down. Come on, pick a freaking way. Can I not lock onto you? Are you not in a place I can be locked on? Come on. Okay, there, he fell. I don't care anymore. This is somewhat of a suicide run. Jump! I missed it. Didn't kill me, though. Going to in a second, probably. Yep, there. I want that katana. I'm gonna go for it. YOLO. Okay. Let's try one more time. If I lose 4,000 souls, it's not that big of a deal. I can get those back in a heartbeat. I know that one guy's not dead, but this guy is in the way. Frame rate issues? Okay, he's dead. I swear to God, this guy. Picking this up. Land on the thing? No, I missed it again. Oh wow, that's a lot lower than I normally get there. Well, we might survive this yet. Where's the bonfire again? Oh, there's a thing. I kind of want that. Like I said, this is not the way to go through Blight Town. We are doing it completely wrong. Uh, this way? The good news is attempting to get that katana a few times makes it a... Uh, oh god, the frame rate just decided to take a shit. Give me a second. There we go. Oh, uh, not quite. This uh, gives us a little bit of time to maybe fix the frame rate with the YouTube video uploading, as well as uh, have the whole second episode be going through the tougher part of Blight Town. I'm gonna top off real quick. Because if I miss this jump another time, and I have a little bit less health, it's likely that I'll just die. Ooh, I made it that time. Nice. There you go, Ito. Now, uh, I think we can go this way. Yep. And we're right back at the bonfire. Let's check out the Ito. Oh, there's a message here. Hang on. Need jumping? Nah, that's where I kicked that guy. All right, let's... Actually, we'll just look at it. No, we'll, we'll try it here, check out its stats. Um, there we go. Uh, we can't use it because it requires a lot of decks, but that's okay. Um, we might go quality build later. Uh, Katana forged in the eastern lands. Katana is drawn from the scabbard at lightning speed using Aijutsu technique. Aijutsu allows the wielder to charge forward while cutting swift... Or cutting down distant foes, or swiftly cutting in distant foes, whatever. I know I'm unable to wield it effectively, but I can still try its moveset, I believe. 
It's just if I hit something, it's not gonna work. Nope, that was close. <laughs> so you actually sheath it and dash forward with the Ito. Uh, let me try this. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know the Aito had a slightly different moveset from the uh, Uchi Kadana. The Uchi Kadana has a thrusting attack, I believe. Or is that its sprint? No, it has that same sprint. Uh, it has the whip overhand swing instead of this. I'm going to do that off a ledge one of these times. But uh, yeah, we'll call that an episode. I'm going to switch back to my axe. Next episode, we're going to go through the bottom of Blight Town, and we need to get all the way down there. Need jumping.